Hey guys, it's Russell Tussle, and welcome back for part two of a Rim World. Last time we crash landed on uh, a Rim World, you know, hence the name of the game, uh, and survived for about a week. Uh, we're on day six. Uh, we have Bernigen, Hannibal, Pre, and Allie, uh, who just joined us. She doesn't have any clothes, poor thing. She's not a nudist, so she's not terribly happy about it. Uh, and yeah, so we have a pretty good setup going so far. So uh, let's continue. Um, so what do I want to do next? So we have a decent amount of wood. So I think I want to make a freezer now that we have power. I think I'm going to make this the freezer behind here. Uh, the question is how big do I want to make it? Let's do that for now. Uh, then we also need a diff another bedroom for Allie. So bedrooms, I usually do six by eight, and then we'll extend the hallway. Oh no, we can't because this thing can't destroy a steam geyser. Ooh, that complicates things. Um, okay then. So how do I want to do this? Alright. So, where is it? Cancel. No, orders. Cancel. We're canceling all that. All right, so this might get a little messy. We're gonna reinstall Hannibal's bed to get out of the way. And then we're gonna demo all of this. Uh, we're gonna demo that wall. Basically, I'm gonna turn this into a hallway that leads up have the bedrooms on this side and on that side as well. That's usually how I like to build my bases, because I have kind of like a great room or like a big area, which is usually like a research bench, a table, which we haven't built yet, and then this leads to food storage, because you always want food storage close to the stove. Uh, and then I usually have one long kind of winding hallway, and then all the bedrooms are linked off of that, and I put all the production benches just kind of scattered throughout the hallway. Because I think, and I think this is temperate, so we're going to need heat in the winter. If you put all your heaters or all your coolers in the in this main hallway right here, and then have vents to all the bedrooms, I think it's more efficient. Because the more vents that air has to travel through, the less cold or hot it gets, I believe. I believe. Oh no. Oh no. A group of pirates from the Rocket Rhinos have arrived. They are attacking immediately. Alright, so it's one... Rocket guy. He's way down there. Alright, so I think pre. Yep, pre is a gun. And we don't really need cover yet because they don't have guns. Uh, but normally, if they had guns, you would hide behind trees or whatever. Alright, they aggroed him good. I think he's injured. Oh, they... He's unconscious. So when you're... Oh, he had boost. Nice. He had beer. When someone is killed, you can actually... Capture them. Uh, so we'll make this bedroom a prison temporarily. And we're gonna capture Bernard. And then you can either persuade them to join, uh, sell them into slavery, or just heal them and let them go. Uh, so if you heal someone and let them go, it increases your standing with their faction. And I think eventually they'll stop being hostile. I've never gotten it to a point where I've captured enough people, heal them and let them go, and that happens. Uh, so we'll see. So who is our healer? Not you. All right, Hannibal's really good with medicine, and so is Allie. Building roof, tenting. All right, so he's already healing. 
Oh, that's right. So for prisoners, we'll do, let's see, what are his stats? He's incapable of artist, artistic. He's a nudist. All right, he's kind of crap, so I don't really want him. So we'll do friendly chat, increase our standing with him. Uh, and I usually do, actually, because we're not keeping him, I usually keep it on herbal medicine, but not normal medicine. And then once he's fully healed, we can release him. Hannibal has gotten food poisoning from simple meal. Ah, uh, we need refrigeration. Oh, this is sealed off. Okay. Um, wood floor. I think I want to add more doors. Just not sure where. Let's build a door on the other side. Have it be like a galley kitchen? I don't know. Just I'm basically just doing that because I like symmetry a lot. Or maybe actually. Uh, one, two, three. We'll build a door just there. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I might re reconstruct the stove somewhere else eventually. Oh no, I took her bed. <laughs> Oops. Oh, I forgot we built a nice hallway. See, this is what always happens to me. There's just so much to do, and I lose track of what I'm doing. So this will be eight. Six. Well, it looks a lot bigger that way then. For whatever reason. Six. Eight. Mm, Alright, that's good enough for now. I'll build, I'll build a prison later. All right, we have some food. Now is he fully healed? Oh my God, he had his right leg shot off. He can't actually move. All right, so, oh my God. Who is the highest medical? So guys, I think we're gonna actually, we're gonna operate on him. God, this music is intense right now. Um, I think Hannibal. Yep. How do I do this? I don't even know. Operations, Ed Bill. And it was his right leg, so we're gonna install a right peg leg. And then we're gonna have Hannibal. Cannot operate Bernard, need materials. What materials do we need? Do we need the peg leg? See, I thought the peg leg was just wood. Like, I thought you could do all these without the materials, unless that's different, and that's what was changed. Let's see. Capturing, clicking. So I wonder if it grays out stuff that we've already done. Or is the gray stuff we haven't gotten to? 
outfits. Uh, what are they called? Prosthetics? I don't see anything for prosthetics. All right. Has it happened yet, I guess? I don't really know. Because he can't actually move on his own. So if we release him, he won't be able to leave. <laughs> we'll basically pick him up, put him outside the house, and he'll just lay there until he starves. Which is awful. I shouldn't be laughing at that. <sighs> Alright, I think, think. I don't really know, guys. I'm not really sure how to approach this. What are these bars? Oh, is that their mood? Oh, cool. In darkness, eight without table. All right, there are some like basic human rights that people are getting a little testy about. All right, we are gonna reinstall your bed. Over there, because it's in the way. Alright, then we're gonna deconstruct this. Because he can't move certain things. I wish he could pick up and move everything. Production. All right, so, mm -hmm. I think the new electric stove is going to go there. And then we're going to put a table here with a stool for everyone. And then we're going to do a standing lamp. We also need to expand the power conduits. So we're going to have a lamp in every bedroom. Because that tends to make people feel better. stupid. Oh look guys, we have light. Alright, the stove is back. So when you destroy the stove and rebuild it, you still you need to do another bill. basically going to be in that room permanently until we figure out a solution to build him another leg. Alright, so this is going to be the freezer. For the freezer, I usually put the butcher room in there. Uh, and then I open the storage options. I don't allow rotten. And I only allow food. Uh, ooh, no. And then I allow animal corpses. Uh, for butchering, because if you freeze the animal corpse, you have more time to butcher the meat. 
Speaking of which, let's not allow any corpses in there. And so they'll... Oh, and then we don't want to allow any food in this one. So they'll only store food in this one, and they'll store everything else in that. And someone's still sleeping on the floor. Oh, we have all these crops to harvest, so no guys. I'm starting to fall behind on stuff. Oh, solar flare. That's why no, that's why the power went out. I was like, there's still battery. Battery juice is left. Man, I can't believe he shot off his leg and now he can't walk. I don't know what to do about this. Good, they're harvesting all the crops. So, so what? All right, we need wood floors. Oh, we're out of wood. That's why none of this is being completed down this way. So we gotta chop more trees. Bernard is getting food poisoning. Oh god. Goods traded from white polar bear Kiro. Kuro? Kiro? Bernard is stressed. Oh, he's having alcohol withdrawal because he's an addict. Feeling shaky, everything pisses me off. I keep thinking of drinking. Mm, okay. Oh my god. I kind of wish we killed him and didn't capture him. All right, well, we can't operate on them, so let's, let's try to release him. See what happens. Oh, they have huskies. Um, where's the other silver? It's still down there, or is it? Okay, we got it. Uh, you're the social one, right? So we have, no, hold on, we just need one husky. Where's our husky? Is that our husky? No, is that our, there's too many huskies guys. Oh no, I don't know where, I don't know where our husky is. Oh God. Cause we need to figure out what gender he or she is. Because if you have one of each, they can make babies. They have so many huskies. So many huskies. Alright, those are literally all theirs. Where's... There's Europa. Okay, female. Age 5. Alright. So, we need a male... Preferably around the same age, male age five. Uh, what can we sell them? I don't want to sell them the steel because I feel like we'll need it. A rooster, okay. Nice. Oh, I am so excited. So where's our other husky? 
Humphrey. That's amazing. So we'll train him as well. Uh, yep. Is she trained? Or at least she is. they just do it on their own? I think so. Oh, you know what, guys? I know. I, remember, I know what we need. We need a medical bed to, to operate. So we need a medical prison bed. I'm sorry, who said you could come in here? So many huskies. So many huskies. change this into medical and then will they operate on him let's cancel that oh it's not scheduled anymore head peg leg right leg oh so they can break their addiction if they get through the withdrawal well let's um let's fix his leg and send him on his way before No, it still says we need the materials, guys. I'm not really sure. Maybe you need to craft the uh, peg leg beforehand. Or buy it. Previously, you could just... I think you just used, like, a piece of wood. Oh, maybe that's why we don't have any wood in there. So many questions. Alright, bye, huskies. Alright, Humphrey isn't bonded with anyone yet. patient. Make sure you have all the necessary medical tools and a free doctor available. Oh cool, there's an arrow! What? One colonist, idle, need joy search, source. <gasps> He's on the edge. He's on the edge. Maybe... Let's have all the medical tools. Maybe you can't do operations without a medical bed anymore. needs to be researched. So they're not actually going to release him because he can't move. So I guess we're just always going to have a prisoner. <laughs> oh god, I don't know what else to do. Alright, you guys are going to have to share a bedroom for now. I think I'm going to cheat. I'm going to Google or at least check out the patch notes for what the update was. 
because I'm curious to why we can't operate. Alright guys, I'm back. So it sounds like it's because I don't have wood, and all the available wood I do have has been reserved for construction purposes so far. So I think once I have wood that's in the stockpile, it should work. That's not already reserved. Nope, okay. The other things I read were that sometimes the bed can be blocked, and then you need medicine, which I have. So maybe my skill level just isn't high enough. Treating wounds and diseases and doing surgery. I don't know, guys. Alright, what if... Alright, she just captured him. our prisoner again. We still have the bill. Hmm. There's a mod that makes you have to craft it. But they don't have any mods enabled. This is just a vanilla game. So I don't know what's happening. It doesn't make a lick of sense. Maybe I need a regular medical bed to perform an operation. Like he needs to be moved temporarily. Nope. medical tools. So you need a medicine for an anesthetic or something? Or that's also a mod. Alright, I'll be right back again. Gonna, I'm gonna keep digging. We're gonna figure this out, guys. Alright guys, I'm back. I figured it out. So in order to operate on someone, so we don't have any medicine other than this, and he only has herbal medicine enabled, so we have to enable the regular medicine because you need at least some type of medicine to operate, and now it should work after everyone sleeps. Yep, so now it will work. So now we can give him pet leg and get him on his way. So he'll stop throwing up on, on our floor. I'm the worst. Alright, after Hannibal eats his breakfast, he's gonna operate. Who's shooting what? What's happening? Oh, it's a wild boar. Okay. Alright, prioritize operating. Alright, here's the wood, here's the medicine. I'm so scared. <laughs> well, I guess if he, if he dies, he dies. He's a prisoner. Alright, peg leg. Alright, he's done, right? His manipulation is poor. Alright, so now we'll set him up for release whenever we can. Yay guys, we did it! Oh my god. Thank goodness. Alright, so... So after he leaves, that'll be four bedrooms. Food seems to be alright, not great. Not in a great situation with food. Rice doesn't seem like it's really doing much for us. But we definitely need some joy in our lives. So we're gonna build a horseshoe in. So that the peoples can play some horseshoes. Here, we'll just put it right there. Uh, people still chopping wood. Alright, the next thing what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to expand to this room into the mountain and have this be storage. Maybe not that far. 
so. We'll do a 9 by 12 room. Bernard computer is no longer in cave. Oh, look! He's up and about. Oh, we finished the gun turret research. Alright, what should we do next? The electric smithy and smelters. I wonder, if, I wonder if we should make drugs and sell them. I feel like that might uh, inflict with some people's moral mor morals. So how do I build? Like a high-tech workbench. Smithing. That would let us cremate bodies. Multi barrel weapons. What? All right, I think the well, what did it say? Yeah, it says if it needs a high-tech research bench. Am I blind, guys? So I just not see it? Oh. Well, let's research. So I don't think it's a thing. I think I'm I think I'm crazy. So let's just do electric smelting for now. Or you know what? Let's do carpets. Carpets make people feel really good about their rooms. Oh look, we're freeing him. So he'll slowly make his way to the edge of the map. And then we should be in a better standing with that group. This doesn't need to be a prison room anymore. We're not doing too bad, guys. I wouldn't say we're doing well, but I wouldn't say we're doing bad either. So I guess we need, oh, wow, that's a big, it's a big doodad. Uh... So I'm going to say we need some hand tailoring. Do some. What's the misc? There's the tool cabinet. Do we have the steel for that? Yeah, we do. And then we will do sculpting it as well. 
actually, let's do some joy. Sculpting helps with beautification as well. Uh, how do I do? Oh, plot. plant pot. Let's do those there. We'll start adding these to people's rooms as well. Seal this in. Haul all that out of the way. Increase the size of that mm. stockpile. Pirate merchant from Old Man's Hamlet. Okay, cool. What day are we on? Nine days have passed, so we're on day 10. Uh, and I think that's where I'm going to end this episode. Uh, once again, my name is Russell Tussle, and this was part two of RimWorld. Uh, please like and subscribe below, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching!